did it bother you that you know you, you had this very successful uh, academic career a diplomatic career and you became the 10th president of india because you were good and yet uh, you know you were being hailed as the first dalit president did that sort of disturb you in some way it disturbed me it disturbed me because the dalit aspect was not predominant in the minds of people who supported in me and proposed me to be the president it was not in my mind i did not use a factor in any way during the process of the elections and uh, and therefore when people started highlighting it i was really disturbed but i kept quiet I recall that in a similar thing happened when I was visiting France. I was staying in the put up as usual in the in the their palace and uh, one paper there what is the name of the main paper Le Monde and not Le Monde the the weekly and they wrote once and 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 under trouble in the palace a big headline anyway they had not interviewed me asked me anything but it was very startling the way they put it i don't know how they came to know that i am under, under trouble but that was with through the our sources so that sense of uh, you know of, of, of being um, ostracized when you were young when did it sort of begin to to leave you we you know you got a, you got a first class in uh, you know as, as, as you know as a master student in english literature and you go to amongst the best institutions in the world uh, when does this this the sense leave you when you move out of your immediate environment i had really not any feeling that i was being ostracized that was one thing i i was not obsessed with that aspect i behaved as if i was a human being and the fact that i came from an untouchable community was not uppermost in my mind in fact in all my behavior or my conduct at that time this did not figure in my thinking therefore i just behaving like a human being and going around with it do you feel a special empathy a special responsibility uh, for people with that kind of background who haven't been able to climb out of those circumstances uh, in a sense that you did and, and you didn't really experience uh, but you know sort of bear that label yes do you feel a special connection with them a yes, special connection is i feel that i have the empathy between with them that's always in my mind but not as a grievance or a, or a blaming people because i had my real experience there were many people belonging to the higher caste who had been nice to me who helped me and uh, there are many people who insulted me and taunted me so was there a defining moment like gandhi being thrown out of the railway station in, in africa i don't recall it <laughs> i don't recall a defining moment that is why i, be, I did not become a rebel like him <laughs>